Global TV. And the can for one man rim the year. What's your dear? Your the fourth chairman for this occasion. What's your dear? Your Ajiman Bedu, the second. The Mahine Odeneho Akosia Fima, the second. The Mahima, former president, John Dramani Mahama, senior minister, ministers of state, members of parliament, members of the National House of Chiefs, president of the Ivorian House of Chiefs, MMDCs, members of the diplomatic corps, the media, citizens, ladies and gentlemen. Nana Chairman, it is my singular honor to join the chiefs and people of Doma to celebrate this year's Doma Coiffe Festival and the 20th anniversary of the installment of Osajifu Ajiman Bedu II as Omaihene of Doma and Odineho Akosia Fima Juabeng, Paramount Primabra of Doma. Nananum, let me use this opportunity to congratulate the Omahini, the Paramount Queen Mother, and the people of Doma for organizing a successful month long celebration which is being climaxed today with Grand Deba to renew efforts of, for the de development of Doma and largely the people of Ghana. His Excellency, the President of the Republic, Nana Kufuado, would have loved to be here personally to grace this program. But unfortunately, a national assignment has taken him out of Ghana. He deeply regrets that but he has designate, designated me to represent him at this program and extends his warmest greetings and blessings and wish you a successful festival. Nana Mimau Afisha Pau. Nana Chairman, permit me to pay tribute to Osajifu, Osia Dio, and Odinho, Akwesia Fima II. Everyone will agree with me that Osajifu and Odinho have been def a defining light and real gems of traditional authority for growth and development in recent years. The 20 years of the reign have been characterized by numerous development achievements in the Doma state and the country as a whole that have brought hope to Ghanaians. His achievement spanning from promoting peace, education, youth development, humanitarian services, among others, are contributions from Nana that we cannot overlook. He has brought peace and reconciliation in his kingdom, which has established the foundation blocks for cooperation among chiefs and subjects of Doma traditional area. He has also successfully 
dealt with contentious, con contentious chieftaincy disputes in Doma Akwiamu, Abuabo Number no. Four, Chira, Insuhia, and many others. Nana Chairman, Osagifu's quest for education in his kingdom has led to his facilitation of the establishment of the University of Energy and Natural Resources with School of Agriculture and Technology and School of Geoscience in Doma Hinkro. His passion for sports is unparalleled. He has contributed immensely to sports development in the country. Aside the assistance, he offers the Ghana Football Association and the Premier League Board. Nana has institutionalized his passion for sports by also funding a Diana football club from his own resources and guided them to annex the Premier League trophy in their first year in the top flight. Congratulations. Apart from the initiatives listed above, Osajifu has also embarked several developmental projects which include the first mortuary facility in Doma Hinkro, a 20-seater WC toilet facility in Doma Hinkro, a seater toilet facility at Wamfie, construction of a one-story building for agricultural development bank and the office of the proportion of the one-story building for the Agricultural Development Bank and the Office of the Proposed Domain Development Co Commission. Nana Chairman, our tradition is a beautiful one. We see loyalty, stewardship, service, and dignity to make us proud Ghanaians. However, the other side of the coin, which we take, which tends to take away from the beauty of our tradition, lie in the various chieftaincy disputes in some traditional areas across the country. It is important that we nip these disputes in the bud and find ways to resolve them peacefully to allow for our growth and development. The role of the eminent chiefs, the Asantehene, the Yabonwara, and the Niri in the resolution of the Dabon chieftaincy dispute is highly commendable and we should follow their example. Now I turn to the role that government can also play. Notwithstanding all the challenges we face as a nation, the government of Nana Adodankwa Akufuado over the last three years has been hard at work working to solve the challenges that face the people and if you look at the results of the work that has been done in the last three years you will not but admit that we are making some progress even though we still have more to do. In the area of agriculture, in the area of agriculture, we have seen a major transformation through the planting for food and jobs 
Today, Ghana is not importing maize. We are producing more rice and we are urging people to eat more local rice. We are building warehouses to store our extra food that we are harvesting and this is making agricultural growth turn around remarkably. The 1D1F or the one district one factory program is also on course and many factories are springing up across the country. The government has restored macroeconomic stability. stability. Inflation is down, the deficits are down, interest rates are down, the gross international reserves are up, the, the current account has improved, the trade account is in surplus, teacher training allowances have been restored, nursing training allowances have been restored, we are hiring more people, 350,000 people have been hired in the public sector in the last three years. Teachers, nurses, security personnel, afforestation personnel, and so on. This includes 100,000 graduates hired under NAPCO. We have reduced the price of electricity. We have reduced import duties by 50%. We have established the Zongo Development Fund and brought improvement in our Zongos. We have reached an agreement with Côte d'Ivoire to set a floor price for our cocoa farmers. So from October 1st in 2020, so cocoa farmers will see a major increase in the price they are going to receive for a bag of cocoa. We are introducing the national ID cards and digitizing our public service for better service delivery. We have one village, one dam in the north we have one constituency, one ambulance, and all the ambulances will be distributed on January 6th. And these ambulances are going to be managed on a digital platform, and we will know on at every time where each ambulance is in the country. There are trackers on all of them, and we will monitor them and direct them, and they will use the digital address system to move from place to place. We have, through the work of the eminent chiefs, brought peace in Dagbon. We've established six new regions. We've introduced mobile money interoperability. We've discovered oil. We've revived Anglo Gold Ashanti. And we have brought free SHS to the people of Ghana. <laughs> These are just a few of the policies of the visionary leader, Nana Adotankwa Akufuado. And we know in Domahin Crow have not been left out. A business resource center, a rural technology center is being constructed at Atisi Chrome, one district, one warehouse also at Atisi Chrome, asphalting of Domat Ahinkro Township Roads, 
construction of your buffalo room roads, construction of classroom block in your buffalo room and ababu number four, and drilling of mechanized boreholes in several areas are just some of the policies that are being implemented. So the government of Nana Kufuadu is delivering on its promises. Because we have performed better, we know that as we enter the election year in 2020, you will even see more because 2020 is a year of roads and our roads are going to see a massive uplift throughout the country all the 16 regions you will see from Bolga Boko through Axim all the way you will see major road construction so we have performed better and because we have performed better I know that when the time comes you will give four more years for Nana Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless the Republic. Royal TV and Dikanfu Amamrimneye.